Okay, official. Alistair is my favorite character. So good! <laughs> Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, and if you happen to be new here, hi! My name is Chachi, and today I am watching episode 2 of Has Been Hotel. You all know, I have been loving the show so far. It's amazing, the music's incredible, the character's fantastic, ugh. I'm just so into it. I've also heard, overwhelmingly, your recommendation for Hell of a Boss. I did want to let y'all know that I do plan to watch that as well. But I'm going to focus on has been first and then get to that one later, okay? So thank you for the recommendation, I appreciate it. Now at the end of last episode, there were some major developments. First we heard that Hell plans to speed up the next extermination, and then it was also discovered that an angel was murdered and Heaven thinks that it was a demon. I'm not so sure, but we'll see. So anyway, let's get to the episode, and a reminder of course that if you want the full reactions, You'll find that over on Patreon, and now let's get to it. Thank you all so much for being here, and this is my reaction to episode two of Has Been Hotel. Okay, so the extermination is coming in six months instead of a year. No big deal. We think six months. I think it's gonna be sooner, girl. And next time when they cut the time in half again and again, exactly, we'll get and they have. Oh, please. You had less than half a chance when you started all this salvation bullshit. And now, ain't no silver lining this time, Toots. Oh? Sure there is. Who's that? Valentino? Angel? What's this drama? My boss, Val, is just freaked out about the news, too. Like I said, everyone's losing their shit. Oh. Yeah, that's true. It's their boss. Sinners are desperate. Maybe desperate enough to try anything to escape the extermination. That's what I was saying. It's great marketing for y'all. What's your chance? What, what was that? Oh, not this guy again. <laughs> Doesn't give up. I attacked you literally last week. We've done battle. You forgot already. Twenty times. Well, you must have been really bad at this. Silence! Now, power! For when I've slain you, the I do love Sir Pinches. These will finally acknowledge me as their equal. Mm, <laughs> doubtful. Wait, who are the V's? Oh, nobody important. The V's. This week's episode of Yeah, I Fucked Your Sister, So What? is brought to you by Box Tech. <laughs> <laughs> now that's good television. Oh, is this the rival of Alistair or something? The TV versus radio makes sense. Your little boy toy is wrecking my department. Fucking bitch. Boy toy. Now. Here I go, Valentino. Just another fucking. That, that's who was texting Angel. <laughs> my life. Ugh. No. Unacceptable. You're fired. Oh my god, they're so cute! Ruffles, burn it like the witches who wore it. <laughs> oh my god, who's this queen? I can see you're busy. That's oh my god, what a power. I like love that. Control here. Of course I do. Fuck you. Now shoo. Take care of the piss baby. <laughs> oh my god. More great characters already. Oh. Oh, Fuck look at finally. them. You believe what that <laughs> And even more! The ungrateful whore! Oh yeah, that's but Angel. Are we talking about this time? That fucking slut walked out on me. Me? Can you fucking believe that? He thinks he can run off and shack up with Lucifer's bimbo daughter. Oh. Yeah, that bitch Chalky or Chandler. Or I don't know, something mannish like that. She's got this hotel and which of these that is sexier? That slippery twink is going to remember who owns him. I'm going to fuck everyone. <laughs> oh my shit. god. Oh, god. that one's yeah. drama. Oh, holy. Oh, hi. It. Our brand is perfection. You know, Angel isn't the only one spending time at this ratty hotel with the devil's spring. Oh, Alistor. The radio demon is there. Oh, okay, yeah, they are rivals or something. Did you just say? Alistor came back, and that wasn't the first fucking thing you told me! Wait, came back from where? Hey, hell. To a new status quo. I love Vox's design, Everyone the TV head. Vox is Alistair. I am ready for this. This is gonna be fierce. Here's the sugar on the cream. He asked me to join his team. Oh. I said no, and now he's busy. That's the team. 
Oh, oh really? Okay, I see. <laughs> oh yeah, he's buffering for sure. You've lost your signal. So that's what the V's are. It's like whatever Vox has built. They're called the V's. And Alex didn't want to join. I pissed him off. Wish that I'd stayed gone. God, I love Alistair! Oh, he's so awesome! Oh, this will okay, official. Alistair is my favorite character. He's so good! Oh! <laughs> and he's terrified. <laughs> Rightfully so. Well, maybe what? someone on the inside isn't such a bad idea. Do you think Angel would? That lanky prick won't even return my call. There's no way Angel would do that, right? I think I have just the one. Ooh. So, someone we know? Why, hey, <laughs> my dear. Wait, wait, wait. I come in peace. Please. I heard that you're helping people. People who want this is just pathetic. to be better. <gasps> you heard right. Welcome to our home of healing. Oh no. Where's Alistair? Where's Alistair, please? This chump was trying to kill us like literally six hours ago. And now you want to bring him in here to live with? <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. This place is about second chances and who deserves uh, more. So I guess he changed in six hours. And over here we have, oh, uh, Alistair, our gracious facility manager. Alistair, handle him, please. You're the one who ruined my coat. I definitely remember you now. <laughs> How could he forget? Everyone, follow me. My name is Charlie. I like to. Is this an icebreaker? We get to know each my name's the Penges. I like to build, and despite my stupid egg boys, I think I'm very skilled. Oh, that was actually pretty good. That was really good. This is stupid. This is not stupid! It's just no good! It's like a thing you would do with Cub Scouts or Girl Scouts, wouldn't it? <laughs> Where's an innocent kid I can sell crap to? Wow, who wrote this? <laughs> the talk. Devil's Dantruff? Oh, for fuck's sake. Not me. <laughs> Stand up. That's good. Study. This is supposed to be a, a challenge. Yeah. I'm off to Saying what he has to say. Sexual intercourse before marriage. Yes. Oh, bravo. Bravo. Wow. That was amazing. Yeah. Angel's feeling really ignored. This is not good. You really like me. What if they go back to Valentino? But do they need him anymore? They have this dude. They're pinches. Do not do it, girl. If you don't come home, you will be fucking greasy truckers for the next year. Okay. This is um very real. Hey, Angie, about earlier. Chill your whole fucking family works. Jesus. Attic trash like you doesn't change. Oh my god. I'll see you soon, baby. Oh my god. Sorry. That was awful, Angel. What was his name, Fat Nuggets? <laughs> the little piggy. Oh, call him out. You're working for the V's? Are they gonna believe him though? They better. Oh, bug. <laughs> oh, shit, yes, kick his ass. What's going on? <laughs> this little bitch is a traitor. I would never betray you. Charlie, believe Angel. <laughs> oh, okay. He gave himself up. If they don't kill you, oh, no. go ahead and do it yourself, you miserable failure. I oh, no. Just make it quick, I guess. No. Don't that I deserve it. Gladly. Wait. Stop. Starts with sorry. That's your foot in the door once. What if he does become the first patient of this place? Can't we just kill him? <laughs> shoot him and spill him. Please. That's an option. 
option you could choose <laughs> works for us. They just want him dead. <laughs> Understood. I'm sincere, sorry. I'm so sorry. Surpitious. God, please. What was her name? Nifty or something? Yes. Oh. You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair wins again. God, these episodes are going so fast. Okay. Okay, everyone, that was episode two of Has Been Hotel. And, uh, I mean, come on. What, what can I say? Amazing characters. Again, we get more characters that are amazing. Just, it never stops with this show. It's always just, like, upping the ante. I swear to God. And now we have this new character in Vox. This TV head looking awesome character. Seems to have a lot of power in hell. He's able to, I guess, manipulate people through the TV. And he's part of this group called the Vs. They're, they're called the Vs, I believe, because their names start with V. So there's... Vox Valentino, and I cannot think of the name of the fashionista girl who had these awesome powers. Hmm, can't think of her name, but there's that group. And apparently Vox and Alistair are natural enemies because it just makes sense, like TV versus radio, right? But a Alistair seems to have the power in this rivalry. Like, nothing seems to phase Alistair whatsoever. He just seems to, to always just have what he needs to be a step above everyone else. And I love that. And with Vox, Vox, um, he he's awesome, but he just doesn't seem to still be a match for Alistair. And his main concern is that there's a deal between Alistair and, and Charlie. So he wanted someone to infiltrate the hotel to find out information. So he chose Sir Pinchas for some reason. And as we all, suspected he failed <laughs> miserably but i love the evolution in the character of serpentus because he's just been this like this annoyance constantly to everyone especially alistair and 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 then we see in this episode where he sort of comes around and we see the sensitive side to him and the of course the song with charlie the sorry song was so cute another fantastic song and i think maybe potentially serpentus is gonna be like the first patron that actually wants to be saved that has yet to be seen but it might be headed in that direction but amidst all of this of course angel starts feeling neglected and left out because now sir Pinchas is getting all of the attention and that could be an opening for the v's to use angel to get information and spy on the hotel and relay that back to vox so a concern there for sure I'm not really worried about it because Alistair is still on their side. I feel like Alistair, with Alistair there, like, it'll all work out eventually, right, <laughs> baby? Um, no developments of the angels, um, that part of it yet. So we didn't get to see what's happening, but they do know that, you know, the, the cleanse is happening sooner than later, but I feel like it's gonna happen a lot sooner than even what they think, which is six months. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, another fantastic episode. It's amazing. I'm loving it. And of course, if you want the full reactions to these episodes, you're going to find that over on my Patreon. But until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Adios.